Um, my name's Becca Kaepernick and I go to Megan State High School and I live on a farm out near Cloyna and my family has been through all of the floods in the past five years and the drought as well is still affecting them. The so. hardest thing about living in the drought condition is probably seeing my parents like not know what to do or try and find solutions on how to fix the situation that they're in. They have had to sell cattle because there isn't enough feed for them. Mm. But they've gotten used to the conditions over time and they've found out ways that they can be more sustainable with the feed that they're using. And oh, yeah. my family, mm. they have, we have beef cattle, so we look after those and they also produce hay. So at my grandparents' place they grow the hay and we have a big irrigation system which is good and they're doing pretty well over there except for the floods, it's on the creek bed and it wiped out everything so they had to start all that again. And our beef cattle which are at home and also at our property at Warundin which also got flooded, knocked out a lot of fences. And at home they recently had an open day, so about 60 odd people came out to the farm to see how mum and dad work it out there. Wow. And they've come up with different ways to look after the feed that they have, so they part off part of the paddock and move the cows each day, so it's not just they're in one big paddock for a couple of days and think they've eaten everything. Mm. So they are restricted to a small part. And my mum's a big part of the community and she likes to be a part of a lot of different groups to help other people get back on their feet. She's just really smart. Well, my mum's really into photography at the moment, especially sunsets. Okay. <laughs> she enjoys taking photos a lot, mostly outside of the farm, the surroundings, the animals, and I think that's something that makes her happy and keeps her going through all of this. And she's, she's started a boutique, which is, she sells Larry sock protectors for all the women out there that like to look stylish while working and I think that's something she enjoys seeing other people brightening their day and yeah um well when I um, finish year 12 I'd like to attend and university. The study that I'm thinking of doing is probably teaching I my dad was a teacher and he is really smart <laughs> and I like the idea of coming back to a small town like this and helping kids out and teaching and I like the term, the idea of coming back to Megan. I think going to the farm. conference there'll be a lot of like-minded women there who maybe went on the same pathway as I would like to and maybe they had struggles through it and they might have some advice to get through it and how they if they had struggles, how they got around it and got back to where they wanted to be. Thank everyone that we were given this opportunity, like being having it all paid for us because in this time it, you struggle to find money to do these kind of things. I know my mum generally goes to these but she wasn't planning on it this year but then when I told her that there was an opportunity for me to go and she said if I got in that she would go, so I'm glad we get to go together. <laughs>